Hi Matt, my team is experiencing a problem in CA Service Desk Manager. They have to sign in multiple times to create, modify or delete a request. This is consuming a lot of time. Is there a chance that we can avoid this? Ideally CA Service Desk should grant access to your requests without requiring multiple authentication. CA Service Desk uses single sign-on technology to grant access to the requests. To enable single sign-on you have to set up remote user variable. It takes this attribute to give you the desired page results without signing in multiple times. Remote user variable is required by products like Service Desk and IBM Cognos for single sign-on. Let us see the procedure to set up remote user variable when a page is protected by SiteMinder. Before we proceed, ensure that CA SiteMinder is installed and configured. CA SiteMinder web agent is installed and configured. Desired page is displayed. Fault IIS page is displayed. Let us view the variables of a protected application for which the remote user has not been configured. Notice that the remote user field is not populated. To configure the remote user for this application, launch the CA SiteMinder administrative UI. From the CA SiteMinder administrative homepage, click Log in to the SiteMinder environment. Enter the username and password, and then click Log in. On the SiteMinder administrative UI homepage, click Infrastructure. Click Agent Configuration Objects. For the purpose of this demonstration, we have created an agent configuration. To configure the remote user for this agent configuration, we need to enable the required parameters. To continue, click the Edit button. The Parameters pane is displayed. Browse through the available parameters to locate the parameters associated with the remote user configuration. Remote user variable and set remote user are the parameters associated with the remote user configuration. To configure the remote user configuration, we need to enable these parameters. To enable the remote user variable, click the Edit button. To enable the parameter, remove the hash sign from the parameter name. Update the parameter value as appropriate. For the purpose of this demonstration, we have updated the value to remote user. To continue, click OK. To enable the set remote user parameter, click the edit button. Remove the hash sign from the parameter name. For the purpose of this demonstration, we will keep the default parameter value. To continue, Click OK. We have enabled the parameters required to configure the remote user. In the next step, we will create a response attribute. To continue, click the Submit button. On the SiteMinder Admin section of UI homepage, click Policies, and then select Applications. For the purpose of this demonstration, we have created a test application. To continue, click the Edit button. Click Responses. This application already has a response associated with it. To create a response attribute, click the Edit button. Click Create Response Attribute. On the Attribute Setup screen, you can choose an attribute kind. For the purpose of this demonstration we will select User Attribute. In the Attribute field sections, enter a variable name and an attribute name. To save your changes, click OK. To return to the application screen, click OK. Click Submit. We have successfully created a response attribute. To return to the CA SiteMinder administrative UI homepage, click the Close button. We have enabled the parameters required for the remote user configuration. We also created a response attribute. Let us now view the variables of the protected application and verify that the remote user field is populated. To continue, open the protected application in a new browse window. Enter the credentials to log into the protected application, and then click OK. To continue, click Show Variables. Notice that the remote user variable is populated.
Thank you for watching this video. For more information, visit www.ca.com/education.